It's Sunday morning, about 10 degrees right now, going up to about 11, which is pretty good for this time of year. We're heading to Confederation Park in Stony Creek, so just a little outside of the Niagara area. Uh, there we hope to see some late fall migrants, lesser yellowlegs we spotted there in the past, as well as the great egret. So that would be uh, some really noteworthy species. Upon finishing up at Confederation, we're heading to LaSalle Park in Burlington. Hopefully some late fall migrants as well and some what? Some friendly chickadees. They like to eat out of our hands. We just arrived at Confederation Park, walking down the trail to a spot up here where it opens up uh, along the lake. So we're going to see what we can find. So we've got our first target. It's a uh, white-throated sparrow. Uh, he's got the yellow near his nose there and uh, he's still hopping around right out here. So we're, uh, we're working on him. Ash is going to take a few, few more shots. It was an amazing uh, backdrop for the white throat. The one way and it uh, nice. made for some awesome shots. Yeah, that's the pose. That's the face. That's the his mean mug. White throat. I'm heading out towards the lake area. Trev's uh, behind me, scoping out some kinglets. Oh, there's some golden crown kinglets hopping around. Actually quite a few. Uh, and Ash just said she saw some white-winged scoters. I've separated to head over towards the lake. I spotted some uh, white-winged scoters, so I'm gonna see if I can get a couple shots of those guys. Scoters are just in behind me. There's quite a few, a little too far away for a photograph, but uh, I'd say there's probably 15 to 20 out there. Uh, no opportunity today, but um, they're back and they'll be here for the winter, so hopefully soon. So it's really important to dress for the weather when you're coming <laughs> out birding, because uh, even if it's just a little too cold, once you're out for an hour, it becomes really cold. And today we didn't follow our own advice and uh, Ashley's ears are freezing, my <laughs> hands are numb. It's yeah. a tad bit windy. Rookie which mistake. Doesn't help, but yeah, big, big time rookie mistake. Where anytime you're right on the lake, it's always going to be a lot colder than you think it is too. And we're right, right here on the lake, of, uh, Lake Ontario. Yeah, bring your mitts. Bring, bring your, your hat. Mitts. Wear your toque. It's the end of October. Wear your thick for socks. It. Oddly enough, this Confederation Park is located uh, right next to the QEW, which is a major highway here in Niagara. Um, but if you look towards the north, the lake is right there, so it's a nice little oasis for birds just passing through. Just come by, take a load off. Well, camera settings for a day like today, it's a little cloudy. Uh, as always, we're going to have our white balance set to uh, auto white balance. Um, but as for modes, I'm going to switch it from manual to AV mode, aperture priority. Uh, the reason this is good is because with the changing light conditions wherever we're pointing the camera, the camera will decide the uh, correct exposure. For ISO, I'm going to crank it up today because of the, uh, the darker conditions to... I'm going to go f actually 500 and uh, that should be good so we can get some shots that are about 100, uh, 250th of a second. That should be fast enough or hopefully a little faster. Um, also, we're gonna make sure that we're on our lowest F number, which for me is F5.6. And uh, yeah.
bit of a recap. Um, pretty slow morning. It's all right. Not too bad. Um, some black cap chickadees, some white wing scoters, uh, golden Ton crown kinglets. Tons of white throated sparrows. Did you see dark eyed juncos? Dark eyed juncos. Lots of dark eyed juncos. It's still early though. We're going to the South Park next, and we know there's going to be lots of chickadees there for sure. So. Worst case scenario, we feed a chickadee out of our hand. And that's a pretty good day when that happens.